Hello family, greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel. It's your brother Chief Lamashegu Yepalsi Wulana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all. How are you all doing and how is your weekends going? Okay, yeah, so family, we are back again. We are back again. And talking about, you know, today's video is going to be about uh, how we harvest cassava here. It's going to be about how we harvest cassava here. But um, family, before I continue with this video, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new on my channel. And then uh, click on the notifications bell so that uh, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And then also share my contents with your families and friends so that everybody will get to learn what I'm sharing with you all the time and everything that I teach you all the time. People will be able to also learn from what I share and also do, you know, try and just hit the like button on my videos. Just give my videos a thumbs up. So uh, my wonderful and good families, uh, I'm, go I'm going to get into the deal. So I'm going to show you how cassava is being harvested. All these, you know, ridges that you see, I mean, sorry, all these mounds that you see are cassava mounds. So this is the cassava mounds. So as you can see, that is the cassava plant. So um, it's time for harvest. But one thing about cassava is that when you plant cassava, Cassava can even take up to one year, two years, or even three years before you harvest it. And at the time, the tubers will be very, very big. So in Dagbanle, that kind of cassava, we call it Banchikurgu. Banchikurgu. Uh, in our language in, in northern Ghana, that is the Dagumba language. But the original name is Dagbanle language. But because a lot of people cannot pronounce the Dagbanle, they just say Dagumba. So in the Dagbanle language of northern Ghana, cassava is called Banchi. Cassava is called Banchi. And uh, a cassava that has been planted and been in the soil for several years, or like for, you know, for a couple of years, we call it Banchi Kurugu. But this particular cassava is not Banchi Kurugu because he planted it this year and he's harvesting it this year again. So that's why you see the tubers to be a little bit, you know, smaller. So uh, my neighbor is here. He's also a chief, uh, Chief Nangona. That is his title, Nangona. So uh, Mba Nangona is here, you know, harvesting his cassava with his children and his grandchildren. So the children are being very helpful. Look at these younger girls and boys just been around helping. They are carrying the cassava to their house. Nah, nah. That's how we greet when somebody is farming and you come when you, to the farms and meet the person working. You will say na pune, na pune. That's how we greet when we meet people at their farms. Alright, so the young girls are here, very busy working, helping their grandfather. They are carrying this cassava, you know, to the house. Nipuni. Uh -huh. So as you can see, uh, this is not uh, child labor. They are just bringing up the children, saying that one day they will also be able to have the strength to, do, to work for themselves. So this is never child labor. It's just, you know, everyone has something to do to help the family and with the children, this is how we train them. This is how we train them, you know, to be hard workers in the future and to also know about, you know, things that they can do to uplift themselves and their family. And as you can see, the little boy is also there cutting the leaves of the cassava and he's just, you know, preparing it for his grandfather to come over. Uh, to harvest and this cassava leaves is also used to cook soup 
the cassava leaves we also use it to cook soup so that's why you see this young boy just cutting them so cassava harvesting consists of two of our uh, two methods if it's either you just hold the uh, the stem and then pull it out pull everything out or you use a hoe to dig the ground and 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 um, harvest it so this is the cassava he has harvested you can see his cassava yeah this is pure natural organic fat, uh, cassava this is organic cassava that he's harvesting so what he's holding is what we call the hoe yeah so you can see how he do it this is how he do it yeah so that is how cassava is harvested but unfortunately he did not have that much yield this year because um, I think some ghosts were worrying him at the farms so that has given him some you know pressure to just remove the cassava but uh, sometimes he gets more cassava than this but upon all that is good because see one tuba of her cassava of his cassava you see this is just one tuba of his cassava so at least this is good this will be able to feed him and his family for for over a year Alright, so family, this is where I'm going to come to the end of today's video. I'm uh, sure that you've learned something small in this video. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for, you know, watching. And uh, please continue, you know, to support this channel by, you know, giving the videos a thumb up. I appreciate you all, family, and I'm also glad that you are taking your time to learn some more about what I'm sharing. I really appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day and have you know a very productive and happy weekends i love you all family and i appreciate you it's your brother chief sending my